Hi Virgo, welcome to your Valentine's special forecast for singles. Okay, so let's take a look if you'll be meeting the right one or will it be another lesson to learn? Let's take a look, Virgo. Now please take note that this is only a quick forecast and not really a full out reading. Okay. Wow. Huh. <laughs> it seems like you already met the person that you will be dating. But this person has an attitude or very childish, okay? That it will start from a very annoying meetup or annoying moment. But you will find this person really amusing and you can't really get this person out of your head. And you don't even understand why. Hmm. This person has been very attracted to you. But they don't know how to court. Or they, they don't know how to whoop uh, a person. So instead of asking you out, this person will just keep on annoying you. But you will just notice that they keep on bumping into you. Oh, there's no sexual... F mm. There's no sexual chemistry. No, that's really sad. Okay, Virgo. Mm -mm -mm -mm. You know, this younger water sign that will keep on taunting you, that will keep on you know, annoying you. They've been very attracted to you. And if you feel like this is already around your workplace. Okay, it is already around you. And even though this person is the most annoying person you've ever met, you don't even understand why this person keeps on picking on you. Now this, well, well within the next six, uh, no, four to six days, uh, this person will be revealing their intention or their, you know, their main thing to you. And it is because that they don't know how to woo you or they don't know how to get through to you because they feel like you're very intimidating. You're very into your own world. You're very quiet. And um, it's a, it seems like nobody can come close to you or can get close to you. So their way of um, mangling your defense is that by getting your attention, by annoying you and taunting you, and they're going to be apologizing because they only want to get to know you. It's a sick kind of a game and um, very immature or childish, but you will also find it a little bit amusing. Okay, so the m communications or the friendship that the two of you will be starting because the two of you will be going out anyway will be very um, refreshing, okay? And uh, it's funny and cute. Now, you will also be taking a break away from your work because you've been working so hard. You've been like, um, like putting your head into your, you know, into your work, into your goals, careers, and you really want to achieve a lot this new year. But you're also thinking that it's also time for you to stop and smell the flowers. Because you're feeling a little bit burned out. You're running out of ideas. And you don't even know if, you know, when was the last time that you have really enjoyed and pampered yourself, you know, during your day off. So, you'll be calling you some time off or you'll be spending some time with someone just to feel, um, you know, feel happy, feel the love or feel attractive, you know, again. And I feel like you're going to be in your best dress sexually and unfortunately i don't feel like this is going to be your best bet okay because either your mind is too preoccupied about your work your goals and your dreams and everything else that even though you are already enjoying your wine your drinks and everything else with this person and you're still thinking about all the deadlines or the presentations this and that this and that this and that okay so there will be some problems with your sexual chemistry with this person and you just need to concentrate a little bit okay into mm, you know enjoying the pleasure instead of thinking about your work and 
orally, I don't feel like this person can satisfy you. So all in all, I don't feel like this is the right kind of person that you can see yourself, you know, lasting long. Although, you know, it, it, could, it could still change. Because what drives you more is somebody who is more accomplished, somebody who is more authority, someone who is, you know, older than you. And somebody who is not a player. Okay? And someone who can... Let's say a little bit, uh, you know, someone who can deliver or give you some more excitement when it comes to the department. Even though you love being on top. But um, I don't really feel like this is the right person for you. Let's see if this will get down into a relationship eventually. Ah, no. No. I feel like you'd rather just keep this person as a friend. You know, even though that there's already like a history between the two of you. But you would rather just keep this person as a friend rather than waste the, the connection. Because you'll feel sorry about this person. They, oops, okay, I'm sorry. Oh, that actually flipped out. Let's take a look. <laughs> Three cards actually flipped out. Okay, I was about to say that this person has been admiring you for such a long period of time. And they've been thinking a lot about you, fantasizing you. And they've been waiting for this, you know, for this time to come. And you're going to try it once again, the second time. Because I feel like, he, he, you know, he or she will know that they did not really satisfy you. So they're going to try, okay, let's try once again. Maybe the, the timing is off. Maybe it's, it's like you're too preoccupied or I'm not really ready or I'm too nervous or something like that. Okay, so you're going to try it once again and the second time and... No. Still not going to work out. Uh, well... Uh, your style is different. His fetish is also different. So I feel like it is something that both of you couldn't really agree on. Oh, I feel sorry for the person. Because they've been really in love with you. It just so happens that the sexual chemistry is not really a perfect match. Well, you know, if sex is, n sex is not really that important to you, then I feel like you can go ahead with it. But it's the maturity as well. Because they're very nasty sometimes. Focus. Obsession. Uh, this person is a little bit obsessed with you. Support. Affair. If you will try and be with this person just for the sake of being with another person, you will be cheating on this person. Now, please take note that this is a general reading. If you're not the kind of person who's a cheater or who've never cheated in your entire life, then, you know... Um, then could be that this is not really meant for you or this is not, this reading doesn't really really resonates with you but be open to changes okay sometimes there's always a first time for each and every one of us but I'm telling you that if you will still try and settle down with this person just for the sake of being with someone you will end up having an affair or you will end up looking for something that isn't there or looking for somebody else okay and you will just end up hurting this person don't incur karma all right so if you want to talk to me live on the phone or live in the calls, just go and visit me at my website at sophieangel.net. All right. Have a great Valentine's. Here we go.